Hi guys, welcome to another cooking video. My name is Jen Smith. I am going to teach you how to make Irish potatoes. Now, Irish potatoes are not potatoes. I have no idea why they're called Irish potatoes, and in fact, I wish they were not called Irish potatoes because I have a feeling that it really deters people from trying them, and they are absolutely amazing, which is why I wanted to share this recipe with you. I don't know if I made them with my mom, but my mom used to make these when I was a little girl, and I loved them. So, here is the recipe. Two and a half cups of powdered sugar, two cups of powdered sugar, <laughs> The ingredients that you'll need for this recipe are one teaspoon of vanilla extract, three tablespoons of ground cinnamon. You may need a little bit more, but I'm gonna start with three tablespoons. One stick of butter, one package of cream cheese. I love this because it's Philadelphia cream cheese, which is where I'm from. Two and a half cups of powdered sugar and two and a half cups of sweetened coconut flakes. It may be difficult to find coconut in the store, the consistency that makes this taste the best, because you may find it like this, which is shredded. I like it to be a little more ground so I put it in the food processor to make it much smaller pieces. Just keep that in mind. If you have a food processor, you may want to do that. The first thing you're gonna do is take your butter and your cream cheese and make sure it's softened. Don't take it straight out of the fridge. You need this to be a little soft so you can mix it well. Put your butter in a big bowl and then put the cream cheese in. You'll just mix the two together until they're blended well. Once that's blended, drop in your vanilla extract. You're basically gonna mix everything except the cinnamon. It smells really good already. Dump in the sugar, and I would do it slowly in sections. Whew, this is an arm workout. <laughs> My muscles hurt. Dump a little more sugar. So now that the sugar's mixed in, I'm gonna dump the coconut in. And again, I'm gonna just start slowly, like half of it. Irish potatoes are a recipe that is usually seen around St. Patty's Day. But if you want, you could actually make Easter eggs out of this same batter if you wanted to coat it with chocolate. I'm not doing that today, but it's also an option. Just a tip for you guys, I wanna let you know. The first time I made these, I did reduced fat cream cheese because I wanted it to be a little healthier. I noticed a big difference because this is regular cream cheese and the consistency is way better. So just for you to know, it's gonna be a lot softer and gooier if you did use reduced fat. So I would recommend using regular cream cheese for this. So this next step is optional. Use your judgment when you're done mixing it. If it's pretty soft, you might wanna put it in the refrigerator for about five to 10 minutes. I did that for five minutes, so it's a little bit harder now and it's gonna be easier to roll. What you do, you're gonna take small little balls, you're gonna roll them up. You want them to be maybe even a little smaller than this. I'm gonna do the cinnamon at the end, so that way it's not sticky all over my hands. This is the tedious part. I wish they had a different name for these. I, I should do some research. You know what, you guys do the research for me. Look up why these are called Irish potatoes. You guys can help me rename them in the comments so that people, so that people want to eat them. Creamy coconut cinnamon balls. <laughs> I finished one tray so far. They get stickier as you go, so you kind of have to move fast. Otherwise, you may have to pop it in the fridge again. Last one's like a, a blob. Oops. <sighs> the only issue is, now where do I put this? <laughs> Can I put it? The next part is really easy. You just have to roll these in the cinnamon and it, that's probably why they are called Irish potatoes because they look like little mini potatoes when they're done. But trust me, there's no potato products in here. They don't taste like potatoes at all and they're so good. You can go as heavy or as light as you want. I like a lot of cinnamon on them. I think it tastes really good, so I just cover them. If they feel a little bit soft as you're rolling them, once they're covered, you could kind of roll them again so they stay round. I don't think I have bloopers yet. <laughs> That's rare. There's no bloopers. I was coming low on the cinnamon, that was three tablespoons. You don't technically have to measure it the second time around, just sprinkle what you need to cover the rest of what you have. I have a couple chilling in the fridge that need to be coated still. As you can see, they are pretty soft. When you eat them, they're supposed to be a little harder, so I'm gonna pop these in the refrigerator for about 10 minutes, and then they should be ready to eat. Thank you. 
These definitely feel much better and harder since they were in the fridge. The longer they sit out, the softer they get. So you either have to move quickly or pop them back in the fridge as necessary. Also, I keep getting my hair in my eyes. <laughs> You know, I don't know if I should say this, but I'm going to. <laughs> if you want to play a joke on somebody and prank them, you can take a whole bunch of white gum, chew it up, and roll cinnamon in it, and put it in a box of Irish potatoes and prank them. <laughs> Probably shouldn't be saying that on the cooking video, but hey, you guys know who I am, so. <laughs> if you do that, I definitely want to see it. Make a video and film it for me, and tag me. Also, if you guys make these, tag me. I want to see the recipe. Let me know what you guys think of them. Although, I did do that once, the prank, and it took a lot of bubble gum. My jaw was hurting from chewing so much, but it was really funny. All right, they're all finished. Mm. Oh my God. These are amazing. If you don't feel like making these, please do yourself a favor and at least buy them in the store. I promise you, these are so good. Oh my God, they just like melt in your mouth. I really hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Do not forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Just kidding. <laughs> oh my God, I got it. I can't believe it. <laughs> oh, and we made a video with like maybe two bloopers. Wow, that's amazing guys. That's the first. Bye. If you enjoy, wait. <laughs> if you guys like this video, please subscribe. Wait. <laughs> now I want to know if I could do that again. <gasps> oh no. Let me try again. <laughs> I have so many to choose from. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. I'm good at that.